We pray, come, Holy Spirit, come. But are we prepared for the consequences of our prayer of God? Your heart, mind, and will are often hidden, shielded by our human pride, folly, and sin. Holy Spirit, God's self-expression, come down upon your people. Invade our affections, our thoughts, our actions. Grant us the, the mystery and the joy of obedience. Not what we covet, but what you love. Not what we design, but what you command. Not what benefits us, but what is righteous, just, and true for all. The church as a human institution, O God, cannot overcome the world by our reason or accomplishment. Nor can we transform culture, but by the power of your Holy Spirit, which breathes life into the souls of those you choose, who goes where you desire, who creates and moves, and sometimes even speaks as tongues of fire. Your Holy Spirit is truth, which needs no explanation. The truth which reveals to us Jesus, our spiritual home, our center, our brother, our savior. Grant for us your spirit to know him and in him stand in mystery, in hope, in love, and in you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, come. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like, a, like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Now they were staying in Jerusalem. There were God-fearing Jews there from every nation under heaven. When they heard this, the, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speaking in his own language. Utterly amazed, they asked, are not all these men who are speaking Galileans? How is it that each of us hears them in our own native language? We hear them declaring the wonders of God in our own tongues. Amazed and perplexed, they asked one another, What does this mean? Some, however, made fun of them and said, They've had too much wine. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and addressed the crowd, Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. These men are not drunk, as you suppose. It is only nine in the morning. No, this is what the, was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirits in those days, and they will pro prophesy. I will show wonders in the heaven above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and glorious day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. My friends, this is the Word of God for us this week. Thanks be to God.